Hello friends, welcome. Today we are going to explain the continuous view and Fourier transform technique. First, I will focus on the how we'll take the spectra by using continuous view instrument, that is CW instrument. First, the sample is dissolved in solvent such as containing no interfering protons, that is CdCl3 or other solvent, and small amount of TMS is added with access internal standard. Such a sample is placed into the magnetic field and apply electromagnetic radiation by using radio frequency oxidator. Detect the NMR spectra by the changing the magnetic field strength or frequency of the electromagnetic radiation. Generally, in continuous wave instrument that vary the magnetic field. The magnetic field is vary in continuous fashion and scanning record the spectra from down field end to up field end of the spectrum. Such a instrument are called as continuous wave instrument. Now I will discuss the distinguish between continuous wave instrument and Fourier transform instrument. In continuous wave instrument, scanning the NMR signal of one by one types of nuclei by changing the magnetic field strength. Consider this compound. In this compound, CS3, CS2, X, the chemical shape of CS2 is more than CS3. Therefore, first scan the signal of the CS2 and then CS3. Now, in Fourier transform instrument, the pulse technique is applied. Therefore, all protons are resonated simultaneously and therefore scanning all NMR signal simultaneously. Continuous O instrument to use spectra that is called as absorption type spectroscopy. But for your transform instrument, use this spectra, it is a belongs to emission type spectroscopy. The more time is required for taking the whole spectra by using continuous O instrument. But less amount of time is required if by using Fourier transform instrument. Large amount of sample is required for continuous wave instrument. Less amount of sample is required in Fourier transform instrument. Record the frequency domain spectra in continuous wave instrument. But record the realization time by using Fourier transform instrument. Therefore, spectra obtained from the continuous wave instrument, it is called frequency domain spectra and spectra obtained from Fourier transform instrument, that is called time domain spectra. The continuous wave method is not more useful to input the signal to noise ratio of spangly silver salt, but Fourier transform instrument is more useful to input the signal to noise ratio of the spangly silver salt. Friends, how will collect the spectra by using Fourier transform instrument? It is very simple. First, measure the realization time. Then, to plot the time domain spectrum. Such a spectra is also called as pre induction decay. And this pre induction decay is converted into frequency domain spectra by Fourier transform mesan. Some mathematical operation is applied on the time domain spectra. Such a mathematical operation are fit in terms of software into the computer and they can be easily used frequency domain spectra from the time domain spectra. Therefore, very simple. Fourier transform instrument is more useful than the continuous wave instrument. Friends, in the next video, I will discuss the distinction between S1 NMR spectra and carbon-13 NMR spectroscopy. Thank you so much and take care.